Hi, I'm going to play some of the Desmos solutions from your class or from the classes yesterday. And I think this is a great way to um, see how problems are solved. So this is one solution to challenge one, which was the second slide. I like this solution because it well, it's just different than the way I did it, and I thought it looked really cool. And this was a different solution, a little more common, and um, they're both examples of how to complete that transformation. This is the next challenge, slide three. So this person did the challenge with a rotation and a translation. And this person just did a challenge with a rotation. On slide four, you were supposed to settle a dispute and Anaya was correct. And I like the way this person showed that they could estimate where the center of rotation is. Eventually, um, you're gonna learn how to actually find the center of rotation. And that goes back to um, the same way we use chords to find the center of a circle. So um, I'm gonna just talk about that a little bit, clearing this off, and I'll, I'll just estimate. But when we were in chapter three, we did constructing the center of the circle. And this is kind of the same thing. You would just connect corresponding points like the corner of the L's and maybe the back tip of the L's. And then um, if you had a compass, you would find the perpendicular bisector of each. And I don't have a compass, so I'm going to eyeball them in, but like that's very roughly the perpendicular bisector um, of one. And I would actually change the color and maybe get it a little bit better. So, and then the perpendicular bisector of the other. Um, line segment would be like roughly here and where those two intersect is the point of rotation so that would be about what that student the student here had drawn and um, that point right there and then if you connect the corresponding points like they did you could kind of see about the rotation. So that looks like it's about a 90 degree rotation. So I like the way that student did that problem. Here's one solution to challenge three, which was slide six. And this was a creative solution. Uh, this person took three steps to create this transformation and some people did this in two and there were other solutions this was a really good uh, visual of the solution on slide eight at the black here is um, where the student took the L and first translated it down and then rotated it and they're showing that in comparison to the orange, if they had rotated the L first, it would have been side. Uh, it would have like been, this would have been the center of the point and it would have rotated to this orange L and then they translate it. And so you find that the two values, this one and this one are not in the same place. So um, Anaya is right again. This is slide 10. Here's a solution of a reflection and a reflection. This one takes a little bit longer, but it works. Here's the next slide, challenge number six, a reflection and a reflection. And this one is a little different, reflection, a translation and a reflection. So it's really fun to see the creative solutions. This one I didn't see a good sketch of um, or a clear sketch, but it is a rotation followed by reflection. So I'm going to put in the rotation. If this were the center of rotation um, and I did 180 degrees, then the L would be like here and it would be sort of shaded in. Um, if I could draw on that a little bit like here 
And then um, what would happen is the reflection, the way I'm thinking of it, uh, would go right here. And so the bottom of this or the L right here up on top, I would flip over on itself and you'd end in the position um, that I just cleared off. You would end in that position. So slide 13 asks you to describe a strategy and this person did three reflections and there's one, two, three. Here's a different solution. This person said do a rotation of 180 degrees and then a reflection. And here's their solution. Rotation, reflection. <laughs> this challenge was pretty hard. Uh, more than one person had this solution. Let's look at it. I'm going to look for a shorter one. This one's a little shorter, maybe two steps less. But it gives you an idea of how to, to problem solve. Most people chose the right choices here for slide 16. But most people missed the choices here for slide 17. So any translation can be replaced by two reflections and um, also by two rotations. And right now, um, the only way you would know that is just kind of by experimentation, but we'll practice more and more this week and you'll start to see that correlation. This last challenge, this person did a really, oops, um, smooth three steps. This was also a good solution. Some of you took quite a few more steps and some of you um, just couldn't quite get this one, but it's a fun puzzle to solve. 